Hi, my name is Lee Zimmerman and I'm one of the senior engineers here at Spayware Systems Center Pacific. I want to talk to you about some of the interesting and fun, we'd even say exciting research that we do here at the center. So mostly we work in the areas of command and control, communications, and intelligence. In command and control, one of our biggest challenges is the sometimes overwhelming amounts of data that a military decision maker is faced with. So we do research in areas like knowledge management and data visualization to try to make that information intuitive so that it's easy for a decision maker to get what they need in order to make the right decisions. In the area of communications, one of our biggest challenges is the limited amount of communications bandwidth that we have to a ship. Unlike at your house, we can't string a cable with the internet on it out hundreds of miles into the sea. So we have to move all of our information over satellite links. That's kind of like you sharing your cell phone with a hundred of your closest friends. So research in those areas include data compression of how we get more information down those small pipes and also a lot in the area of security to make sure that the information that we're moving um, is only useful to us. In the area of intelligence, the Navy is using more and more unmanned vehicles. But we have to figure out how to make it easy for the average sailor to drive those vehicles, including someday we want to make them what we call autonomous. We want them to be smart enough that we can give them a mission and tell them generally where to go, and they'll figure out how to get there and do what they need to do and come back home again. Now, once you've got all those vehicles out there collecting information, you need to be able to bring it back and do something with it. So that's the other area of research of how to fuse information, how to bring it together and present it in a way um, that's intuitive for us to make decisions based on. Finally, energy independence is a big area of concern for the country. And so we do have some research going on in things, for example, like microelectromechanical machines, where we can actually harvest energy from the natural vibration that you would get on surfaces. And with microbial fuel cells, where we can actually take advantage of the microbes on the bottom of the, ocean, bottom of the ocean and the chemical processes that they go through to generate energy. So that's just a couple of examples of the kind of research that we're doing here at Spayware Systems Center Pacific.